Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, my little degenerates. It's your boy, Mr. Degenerate, back at it again for another damn video. And ooh, we, we got to talk about a topic I really wanted to discuss about for a long period of time. Uh, remake. Gaming remake culture. And the staggering amount of remakes we're getting. Um, and this comes from a particular YouTuber... Um, that I love to death, Sparrow Hunter, uh, aka Susie, aka Miss Catcom, Mommy Catcom, as as she's called, uh, came out and did a video, but also a tweet about remakes, and she was mostly discussing on the tweet like why she's not going to be playing um, Silent Hill Two remake and everyone doll piled on her they were on her ass they were they were beating my girl's ass in in the in the comment section of that post uh but one of the things that actually fascinated me was the was what she said in the second part of the post which is her explaining or talking about how like a lot of remakes companies that do the remakes are so afraid to try new things that it makes remakes kind of like pointless and like annoying and like disillusioned. And I'm kind of like, that's so fascinating. Because I feel like that's the opposite of how I feel. In fact, I'm on two minds of it. I feel like remakes are fucking awesome. And I'm going to explain why I love remakes. Remakes are fucking awesome because depending on how they're done. They could be either traditional remakes, which I don't care about. So Silent Hill 2 remake and um, I guess the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake are remakes I'm not too interested in because I can go play those games easily. Um, they're very accessible. Uh, hell, for Metal Gear Solid 3, one of my favorite video games of all times, I own the 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 Legacy Collection for the PS3, and more importantly, I own the Master Collection on the PC. So I can play these games anytime I want. However, however, I know for some modern audience, they're gonna look at those games, they're gonna look at even Silent Hill 2, um, and say certain elements of these games are dated. You know, I played a little bit of Silent Hill 2 recently. And that game is really, really, I repeat, really kind of kind of rough when it comes on the engaging with enemies. Like, fighting enemies in that game is pretty rough. You know, you I, I would I would argue maybe you'll get better at it as you go along, and it probably does get better as it goes along. But I was kind of like, eh, this isn't, this isn't kite, this isn't kite fun. But you know what keeps you going in that game? The writing and the story and, and the interpretation of how characters talk and everything is so fucking fascinating. It's so great. But for a modern audience, they're going to be like, that's fucking lame, you know? And I wouldn't be mad at them. I feel like. A lot of people look at these old games, and, and that goes for all of games, whether it be Resident Evil 4, you know, uh, Silent Hill, all of these classic games that are like the most iconic games. They look at them with a very tinfoil hat and a very uh, narrow mindset and say, this is fucking, this is perfect, it is flawless, it is, it is, it is, it is by far the best thing and and it, the game is intentional like that and it's like yeah that makes sense that the game is intentional about that but again when you're talking about a modern audience there's certain things that they want out of their games now so for instance resident evil 4 re uh resident evil 4 the og has quick time events now modern day players aren't a fan of of quick time events like that this is why usually a quick time events in more modern game it either pause the action to let you press the button or 
they'll tell you to just redo that part again. But not in an annoying way like how in old quick time events back in the day where it would lead to a death. Um, and that's fine. Uh, I actually prefer the old way where if you fuck up the quick time event, you die because it led to some hilarious moments. But at the same time, I also understand that these game, those some of those quick time events can be very fucking frustrating. So to have the option to turn them off or a Resident Evil Force case, take the quick time events, remove them, but replace them with something even cooler, which is this parry mechanic, which is basically your quick time event fucking button. It basically allows you to parry and, and do shit from the original game, but now you, the player, is controlling that and using your reaction time in gameplay. That's fucking fucking awesome. You're always in control. So that is awesome. Other people would find that fucking find the OG RE4 awful in that sense. But there's a charm to that. And I feel like a lot of gamers, a lot of uh, old school fans of the franchise don't understand that. And so, again... When it comes on to remakes, sometimes you need a remake to add a little spice. I think what's, what would make it even better is if they make the older games more accessible. Like, you could go and play the original RE4 right now without any problems. Uh, but, like, Silent Hill is kind of annoying. Like... Unless you're playing that HD collection, which is fucking horrible. That's the worst way to play it. Because from what I gathered uh, from listening to a bunch of sources and whatnot, that game is fucking, that port is fucking horrible because it literally is um, half of the source code. And then they just came up with some bullshit and then redid a bunch of voice actors and whatnot. So it's a horrible way to play it. And again... Um, the PC community we're good but some people is not gonna want to go through all the bullshit just to get a game to run on the PC flawlessly so again it is that juggling act not to mention I think one of the things that I personally like about a remake is that it re um interests in the fandom you know like you look at um dead rising i haven't heard anybody talk about dead rising in a long time until that remake got hit you know i like i i've not heard anybody talk about dead rising in such a long time and they hear that it's finally getting like some sort of recognition it's fucking awesome it's fucking so awesome. And, you know, granted, I know there's changes that public fans don't agree with or there were some changes and whatnot that were controversial. But by remaking a game, it had us talking about like, hey, can we kind of go back to Dead Rising? I actually played the second, only the second game. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Let's go back to fucking... Uh, dead uh dead rising let's go back to this franchise and just fucking chop up some zombies and shit and make cool weapons to dismember zombies let's fucking do it and now that we have better graphics and and more and can put more zombies on screen with the new tech we have let's fucking do it but let's engage and see if people really want another one uh i know I know a lot of people would find it very annoying that like, hey, like we have to go and buy uh, the remake in order to our franchise to continue. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, depending on the franchise, I'm like, is anybody really even talking about your franchise like that? You know, and it's not like in some companies cases, it's not like you're only getting a remake like Silent Hill is getting this Silent Hill remake. But there's the free um, little game that they made um, called, the, I think, The Message or something that was trash, but that's a whole other story. 
um they did another one that's like um that was sort of like this television show almost where you get to choose different um answers and whatnot that one you know was also kind of trash and then we have another silent hill game made with japanese developers that's on its way so again these franchises are not stopping because of of remakes in fact all it is is and in some cases igniting go out and actually support and talk about why this franchise is special and why you want it back and bring it into new audience that has never played it but would probably be interested in something like this like that's the point of what a remake should do just remind the people why this franchise is awesome and so far we've been very lucky to have the remakes that have come out and has reminded people like why this franchise is fucking awesome and whatnot now not everything is perfect you know if there was a game like um let's just say dino crisis and dino crisis got a you know remaster or remake and it and it did well but it didn't meet capcom's expectation whatever their expectation was and we never got a sequel or a continuation of the franchise then yeah i can understand that like similar to what happened like dead space 2 but for the most part i guarantee you most dino crisis fans while they would like a new installment of the dino crisis game they most likely would want a remake um a remake because that game is so old now that a lot of newcomers will not even enjoy like how that game plays you know so again it, it, it is it is this give and take i think for me as long as it's not on the level of fucking like last of us or like or like fucking um horizon remaster and last of us remake or uh, fucking remake part one. Oh my goodness uh you know as long as it's not on that where you could clearly tell it's a cash grab and nothing more because those games are like four to five years old and they still run and look beautiful on the original games that they're on then i don't see the problem with remakes i think remakes are completely fine some of my favorite games of all time or some of my favorite games of last year were remakes and i fucking loved them because they again they were reimaginings but also they 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 reminded the the fandom why these games are so fucking special and beloved so for me i look at remakes as another form of game preservation for more of modern audience this is a great way for modern audience to get into the franchise without having to struggle so much to find a copy or you know go on pc and go the illegal route and sail the seven seas just to play an old classic game when the remake's there and if the remake did its job you know and it succeeds it brings a whole new bunch of audience into the game that probably wants to go back and play the original probably wants to go and sell the seven seas and play the original and also make a new fan out of the franchise through playing the remake so again if the remake sucks and it's not good or whatever you can still go back and play the original resident Evil for a remake is still around you could go play the original for fucking you know original final fantasy is right there it's more accessible now than ever you can play it practically on all the consoles you know all of these games that's getting remade for the most part for what i've seen are all still available still able to be assessed in some way shape or form so again, I just don't see any problem with remakes. And it's not like it's stopping developers from making new games. Because that's been proven wrong. 
So, you know, I'm all for it as long as it's done well, or in my case, it's a reimagining. I, I'm all down for it. I wish nothing but the best for Silent Hill 2 remake. I hope it is going to be a good remake. But to me, the future of remakes is here to stay. And for the most part, with a few sections, I actually kind of welcome it. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what do you think of remake culture? And also, uh, what is your favorite remake or remaster of a game? Comment below, let me know. And as always, stay tuned. More videos are on the way. It's your boy, Mrs. Generate, signing out. Have a good one.